Investigators on the eastern shore confirm there have now been a total of 60 arsons. The latest two started last night, just one hour apart. One was an abandoned home in Onancock, the other an abandoned home in Mears. Senator your side's Ann McNamara asked local lawmakers what they're doing to help keep residents safe. And Nicole State Senator Ralph Northam, who represents Accomack County, says the arson problem is at the top of his list. He makes daily calls to state police to make sure they have all the resources they need to catch a serial arsonist. And we asked him if they're doing enough. This is a very clever person who wants fire. A serial arsonist has hit a new mark, 60 fires since November, and folks on the eastern shore and across the state are starting to wonder if he or she will ever be caught. I just got off the phone a little while ago with, with folks over there, and uh, again, they're, you know, they're working hard, but they're obviously uh, they're anxious to, to get to the bottom of this just like everybody else. State Senator Ralph Northam says he's staying on top of local authorities and state police, making sure they have the resources they need to get the job done. I'm in touch with law enforcement over there almost on a daily basis. There are a tremendous amount of resources on the eastern shore uh, trying to, to find who's doing this. So the people over there need to be reassured that people are working very hard on this. Senator Northam says the challenge is the sheer size of the shore, 70 miles dotted with the arsonist's favorite target, abandoned buildings. The latest, this home on Salvageville Road in Anancock that caught fire just last night. Over the weekend, this home on Bayside Road burned to the ground. It is just amazing that he hasn't been caught, or she hasn't been caught yet. And while state police are keeping the investigation quiet, Senator Northam assures us there is no shortage of manpower or technology. Sure, residents will tell you police aircraft fly overhead all night. They know what they're doing. They're professionals, and uh, we just need to give them time and, and let them work and find whoever this is. I also spoke to Delegate Linwood Lewis today who lives in Accomack and I called every person on the Board of Supervisors, there are nine of them, hear what they all think about the police response new at six. I'm in McNamara, 10 on your side.